banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room. Sit back and hang on to something because I'm bringing you a game today where you back over zombies with a car on your Vectrex. This is Death Chase. Oh yeah. Yes, it's Death Chase, a modern era Vectrex release. I think the Vectrex is more popular now than it was in 1982. And with games like this, I expect it to get even more popular soon. Kids will be asking for a Vectrex instead of an NES or Wii, whatever they're up to now. GCE greater than symbol Nintendo plus Sony. <laughs> One can dream. How does the NES get a high profile fancy re-release yet the Vectrex does not? These things are in short supply, we need more of them, especially when there's great games like Death Chase being released for it. Although I question this game's title because you're not really chasing anything, I mean you kind of are, you're chasing the undead or zombies according to the instruction manual, but... The reality is I think this game could have just been called Celebrate the Holidays in the Shopping Center Parking Lot After Happy Hour, where your objective is just to run over everything that moves. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Death Chase is a classic arcade game with a modern demented feel. You're running over the zombies and then every time you hit one they turn into a gravestone which you can smash down for some bonus points but I think you get more points for running over as many zombies as quickly as possible but sometimes you get trapped in between a whole bunch of gravestones depending on how many you've just squashed all over the place. So you have no choice but to run them over but then your opponent who is either the Vectrex or a friend has more time to run over zombies while you're pinned between a bunch of gravestones. It's a great game. One player or two player, Death Chase doesn't get old. Let me clarify that. The gameplay never gets old, but the sound effects kinda do. Woo! I mean, the, the Vectrex is capable of putting out good sounds. In fact, it can actually talk to you, remember Spike? Oh, Spike! Molly! If only they had applied that same level of enthusiasm to crushing zombies. <laughs> On second thought, maybe the existing sound effects are just fine. But wait, there's more. Not only do you get two games on one game cartridge with two overlays, by the way, but you also get a hidden game. It's Skull Soccer, which is like Rocket League with someone's head on the Vectrex. Not only is the game fun, but the packaging and the overlays and the cartridge design are remarkable. One of the great things about the Vectrex is the colorful overlays and Death Chase does not disappoint. The Nox one is pretty cool too, I'll show you that in a separate review, but I've got a huge Vectrex sized classic game room. Shout out and thank you going to Chris from Glasgow in the UK for sending this to the show. Thank you, Chris. And of course, I'm playing this with the Mighty Vectorcade, which was loaned to the show by my friend Mark in Wixom, Michigan. Death Chase also plays perfectly well with the regular Vectrex controller, and it supports the Atari driving controllers and something called the Vectrosis. Also, this works with the Vec voice. Be an 
You play this game with two buttons on your Vectrex controller. One accelerates, the other changes gear. So don't forget to back over zombies, especially if you're pinned into a gravestone and need to eliminate some behind you. The manual says you get extra points by chaining zombie kills together. I'm not sure if I've really seen that because I'm usually paying attention to actually squashing the zombies, but I did figure out that if you run over their heads, they don't slow you down. So it's like a headshot with your car on the Vectrex. Does it get any better than this? It really doesn't. You can break each game into one round or multiple rounds, and it's just, it's just remarkable. It's as good as it looks. Death Chase. So once again, thank you to Chris. Thank you to Mark. Thank you to everyone who made this game, and thank you to the Vectrex, the supreme power in the universe. Welcome to the Lord Carnage Club being shouted from a turbo volcano! Let's thank these Patreon backers, starting with Jeff Breyer. Jeff Breyer! Derek Langley! Derek Langley! Michael and Ariana Nelson! Michael and Ariana Nelson! Michael Fernandez! Michael Fernandez! Stephen Chucknick! Stephen Chucknick! Al Stever! Al, Al Stever! Rick DeBarros! Rick DeBarros! Jason Goy! Jason Goy! Sergio Matthias Hergert! Sergio Matthias Hergert! Chip Sankbell! Chip Sankbell! Busy Signal! Busy Signal! Sean Zoltek. Sean Zoltek. Philip Straubenmuller. Philip Straubenmuller. Jack Stavris. Jack Stavris. Oh, hot cunny. Oh, hot cunny. Ian Shore. Ian Shore. You sure are awesome. And Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva dos Santos Silva. Tiago Pereira dos Dos Santos Silva, Dos Santos Silva. <laughs>